Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you a book from my collection. The book is called Lectures in Projective Geometry. It was written by A. Seidenberg and it is part of the university series in undergraduate mathematics. This copy um, was published by Van Nostrand and it came from a private collection. This was from the collection uh, of a man whose name was Augustus Prince. He passed away Several years ago, he was a nuclear physicist, I believe, and uh, he was actually also the first uh, black radar man in the U.S. Navy. Um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting. You can Google him and read about his life and stuff. Um, so, yeah, and he uh, did a lot of mathematics. He had a lot of math and physics books, and I do have some of his books. This is actually signed by him. So... Can see there there's the signature um and bnl i believe is a brookhaven national lab that's where it, that's a, that's where he worked i believe and i think there's stuff on that on that website about him pictures of him and stuff from the past copyright 1962 by d van nostren let's let's take a look here at the preface of this book the purpose of this book is to provide a text for an undergraduate course in projective geometry the axiomatic approach to this subject is undoubtedly the proper one, but it seems desirable, if not necessary, to start from what the student knows, namely high school geometry, and lead him from there to new things. Accordingly, the first chapter is devoted to introducing some of the main topics in as naive a form as possible. The subject is then begun on an axiomatic basis in the second chapter. All right, pretty cool. And then here is uh, a look at uh, the contents. So let's see what we have here. We have projective geometry as an extension of high school geometry. Okay, and then we have lots of um, little subtopics there, right? lots of little subtopics. So we've got two approaches to projective geometry, an initial question, projective invariance, vanishing points, vanishing lines, some projective non-invariance between this division of a segment and a ratio, uh, and some more here. And then the axiomatic foundation. You have some topics that are interesting here as well. Let's turn the page. Establishing coordinates on uh, a plane. Relations between the basic theorems. Axiomatic introduction of higher dimensional space. Conics. Higher dimensional spaces resumed. Coordinate systems and linear transformations. Coordinate systems abstractly considered. Conic sections analytically treated. An appendix. And a couple more things here. And it finishes with the Jordan canonical form. So. Yeah, that gives you like a little introduction. Let's go deeper into the book so we can see some of the mathematics and illustrations and things. This book has been heavily used. You can see it's been underlined and, and worked through. Augustus Prince probably worked through this. Um, yeah, I mean, he was probably doing something for work maybe. Um, who, who knows, right, who knows? Uh, he did a lot of self-study, I know that. Um, and this is one of the books that he must have used, right? Uh, maybe he uses for a course, I don't know. So this, wow. Some serious stuff. Show that. Oh, I can't read that. Huh. It's like uh, <laughs> for Matt's last theorem or something, right? So I don't know. Just uh, some little, so something in the margins. You know, you see there's there's a lot of math. And, and the thing is, look, look, you can tell that this was a man who does not mess around. We're, we're, we're deep into the book and they're still writing, right? There's, it's not like, oh, I give up after chapter one. No, no, no. You know, he, he, he carries on. Look, page 56, still underlining, right? Has not given up. There's less writing, more question marks, question marks. Confusion starts to set in. Skip this chapter. <laughs> you know, it's just like, okay, things are getting heavy. The semester is ending. And then here we go. Oh, back in, back in, uh, back in it again, right? Back in it again with all the, with all the writing there. It's kind of fun to see. Yeah, too bad I can't really read that. 
Hmm. Higher dimensional space. And let's see if he keeps going. Oh yeah, look at this. Keeps going, yeah. Yeah, no rest. Has to keep pushing through. I'm just gonna give it a whiff here, it just. Oh, amazing. So yeah, I think that shows that, uh... oh, what's this, what's this? Look, someone wrote something here. This is cool. It says, I don't know if you can read that. It says, I am going to graduate August 21, 1964. <laughs> Do you see that? That's so cool. That is so cool. Um, so I wonder who wrote that. Uh, that's interesting. That is pretty cool. So that, yeah, so there was, this was being used for a course, maybe not for self-study. Um, you can tell the pages are worn. You can tell it's like a, it's just, ah, it smells amazing. It's just been used, you know, it's just withstood the test of time. Yeah, anyways, I'll, I'll look for this book and if I can find um, any copies, I'll leave a link in, in the description. I, I'm, I, I don't know if it's expensive, if it's available, I, I don't know. I, I did not buy this online. Um, this came from, from the collection of, um, of prints. So yeah, many, many years ago. So yeah, it's pretty sad. And also interesting, you know, that these books live on, you know, who, who, who else used these books? You know, um, there's other names here as well. Uh, and then there's, it says something here about Brooklyn, New York, textbook exchange, Inc. Used... Price Bar Baroas Textbook Exchange Inc. Thirty five Thirty Nine Hillel Place, Brooklyn, Ten, New York. Yeah, it's just really this is all so old, right? This is so old that these people, uh, you know, I don't know if they're still around. And these places, do they even exist? I mean, it's just it's like you look at the old books sometimes, and they have um, the things where you mail stuff in, like mail in this and get your free magic kit or whatever. Just send a self addressed envelope to this and five dollars or whatever, and and check for five dollars, and we'll send you for processing, and we'll send you this kit. And so you, you know, you would mail in something, and they would send you some stuff through the mail. Um, that's how stuff was done before the internet, like um, through through mail, which is really weird. I mean, my my most recent memory of that was uh, Magic the Gathering. I knew a guy who bought a Black Lotus uh, for seventy five dollars uh, through a mail order catalog. I know that sounds like way back when I was a little kid. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a Black Lotus. That card now is like thousands of dollars. But mail order catalogs were the ways to get things. Now we have eBay. So, yeah, anyways, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Check them out. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on Udemy, but use the links from my website because I've lowered the price. Um, so you'll get a low price. Plus, it helps me. I've got courses on Calc 1, 2, 3, Differential Equations, Abstract Algebra, Advanced Calculus trig, etc. Um, and yeah, this book is interesting. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.